Hi guys, Abs here and welcome to the Socialinks private blog network. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing some pro tips with you. And as long as you follow these tips, guys, I promise you, you'll get some fantastic benefits with this service and your websites will remain 100% safe all of the time. Okay, so the Social Links private blog network, guys, you're going to be you're going to be getting your account will get two links per day. So that's um, that's 60 links per month. And um, the links will remain on the home pages of these blogs for a minimum of 30 days. So you're going to get 60 home page links each and every month. And the links remain forever, guys. After 30 days, they'll roll off to page two. OK, and so basically after two months, you'll have 60 page two links and 60 home page links and so forth. Uh, and just to let you know, we automatically shorten URLs using 301 redirect URLs such as bit.ly. OK, so that's like a buffer in place as well. And the reason we do this, guys, is so that we don't cause a footprint on the actual um, Tumblr um, or the social media um, blog network. And at the same time, guys, um, it creates an additional buffer between the website and your website as well. OK, and posts are sent to unique blogs only, guys. We have over 600 blogs in the network. As I've mentioned already, we monitor the blogs. We add new blogs and remove blogs as well. But just with 600 alone and 100 users, guys, um, then that's over 300 unique blogs um, for 300 days, for example. So you've got 300 um, days worth of unique blogs just there. So um, your posts, no matter what posts you've got, guys, are never going to be posted to the same blog again. OK, and links are going to be forever or until the blog is or until the blog gets closed or if a blog gets closed down, guys, um, or if you remove the links yourself. Now, I'm going to be showing you how to remove links from blogs as well um, in the video tutorials. OK, so the very first piece of advice that I'm going to be giving you guys is how to link out from the Tumblr blog network. Now, these are high authority social media sites, guys, that have the actual authority on the home page. So these have the trust flow. They have the page authority. They have the backlinks on these pages, guys. And the very first thing that I'm going to mention to you guys is don't directly link to your money site, guys. It's risky and it's not safe. And this is a rule for every um private blog network as well, guys, unless it's totally relevant. And I'm going to be making notes how, guys. So these, this is our Tumblr blog network. And the very first thing we need to understand about the Tumblr blog network is that these have these are high trust flow. These are high page authority as well. And the reason they are high trust flow and the reason they are high in page authority is because they have links pointing to them from other websites. Now, this Tumblr blog might have been about weight loss. This Tumblr blog might have been about, I don't know, um, how do you uh, car manufacture? manufacturing. This one might have been about, I don't know, something else like diabetes and, and what not you. OK, so all of these, basically, most probably hardly any of them are going to be relevant to your website. Your website might be about bodybuilding. OK, so what we usually do, guys, is um, and the common way of direct linking is to link out from these Tumblr blog networks or from your private blog network directly to your website. Now, the problem with this, guys, is, yes, you can add a niche specific article on these blogs, which is fantastic. And you can link out to your blog using um, related anchor text, guys. But these blogs blogs themselves have actually accumulated the trust and the authority and a place inside of Google's eyes um, from whatever's been pointing to them. So these websites that are pointing to these Tumblr blogs tell Google what these Tumblr blogs are about and the Tumblr blogs are going to be telling um, Google what your website's about and because it's going to be a mismatch guys um, there's not going to be the whole 100% relevancy factor on there and the second biggest mistake on here as well guys is that you're sending so many links to your own money site so imagine if you left out just imagine if you had access to your own private blog network and I promise you guys you want to be treating this as your own private blog network as well OK, but if you had your own private blog network, guys, of 600 sites and you sent out a link directly pointing to your money site, that's 600 links pointing to your site, guys. You're going to have to work and assess how you're how you're um, doing your anchor text to make sure that you're not over optimizing. And there's so much more as well, guys. So what you need to think about is your money site is gold. What you don't want to do is start pointing loads and loads of links to your website. It's all about the quality of the links, guys, and not the quantity. And I'm going to be showing you 
you how we can do this using buffer sites. So the very first thing is, guys, you know, you're going to have too many links pointing to the website. And secondly, guys, these, even though the um, the posts that we're going to be making for you are going to be niche specific to whatever you want. Um, the actual links and the offsite um, factors for these Tumblr blogs are not going to be um, niche specific, guys. So here's how you do this, guys. And this is the correct method. And this is going to be the 100% safe method. So, um, OK, so this is working out. OK, I should have had some other Tumblr blogs in here. Let me just open this up and let me just show you how it works. OK. Um, right, so here's our Tumblr blog network again, guys. And this time what we're going to do is have a buffer site. And we're going to link out from the Tumblr blog network to the buffer site. And a buffer site is going to be a site like WordPress.com, or it's going to be a site like Blogspot.com, or it's going to be a site like Weebly.com. Um, that's going to be providing you a do follow link. So here's my rule of thumb here, the three rules of thumb. Now, this buffer site, guys, is going to be a brand new site. It's not going to have any metrics to it whatsoever, other than being on Weebly or other than being on it can even be Tumblr, okay? And um, what you do is you add a niche specific article on there, maybe a niche specific picture on there as well, and you link out to your website. Now you can link out to your website using your exact match anchor text, or you can link out to your website using a raw URL or your um, or a branded keyword. And from these Tumblr blogs, you're going to be linking out to your buffer site guys now you're going to be using related terms to what you actually want to rank for now when you do it this way guys then your buffer site is telling google what your website is about and because it's gaining the authority from these sites and these sites is all are also linking back to your buffer site with related terms to your main site you're having a hundred percent niche specific link there that's full of juice to pass over to your website guys so you want a do follow buffer site you want to have a niche specific article on that buffer site you want to link out from that buffer site to your money site and you want to use and link to that buffer site from our tumblr blog network guys so when you actually create posts inside of the tumblr blog network you want to make sure you're linking out to your buffer site guys so the very first thing that you'd want to make sure you do before you start using the network is that you have buffer sites in place even if you have just the one buffer site created now um, if you haven't got a buffer site created just go over to somewhere like tumblr.com go over somewhere like blog spot or blogger create a quick site guys add an article on there link back to your website come along into the service and then link out to your buffer site from tumblr guys okay and here's some good buffer sites here guys so we've got blogspot we've got tumblr we've got weebly overblog wordpress edu blogs blogger jimido storyfy um, and webs.com now the idea about a buffer site guys is that it's going to be there um, to pass over the link juice really and it's going to be there to make it totally 100 percent relevant now i'm actually in talks with somebody who creates our youtube accounts for us um, to see if we can get done for you buffer sites created for you guys as well guys um, so um, if we are successful with this, um, then keep a lookout for a link inside of the members area um, where you'll have a link to done for you buffers. Now, this will be a service that whereby we'll be creating or our service provider will create the actual Web 2.0 accounts for you. Um, and they'll add articles, niche specific articles for you as well, or articles that you provide yourself, add images that you provide or they'll provide an image and add it for you. And then link back to your site as well, guys. So the buffers are going to be done for you. But again, it could take about five days after you place the order. So what I would suggest, guys, is go out there and create a buffer for yourself first so that you can start using this system immediately. OK, now, finally, guys, um, the best way to actually uh, um, promote your website. So let's just say, for example, you're going to be promoting one website only. Um, I would suggest that you have multiple buffer sites and you have a buffer site for each page that you're looking to rank in the site. Don't send everything back to your home page only. Yes, create one for your home page and create buffer sites for your inner pages as well. And then use our Tumblr blog network guys to promote these buffer sites. Um, and what will happen in return, guys, is you're going to be getting 60 links um, split over um, um, three buffer sites guys um, so you're going to be getting uh, 20 links on each one per month and they're going to be focusing their attention and sending over the authority only one link each um, over to your websites and web pages and of course if you have your website structure set in a specific manner then you're going to know exactly how it's going to affect or how that authority that additional authority that you're going to be getting is going to affect your overall websites rankings so anyway guys this was a quick video that I wanted to create for you just to make sure that 
that you're going to be getting the most out of our system. Um, it's a totally cool system, guys. I've had some super brilliant results from this. In fact, I haven't had not one negative result from this. But to be 100 and totally safe, guys, don't forget link out to buffer sites guys don't link out to your website it's not worth it guys um you don't want hundreds and thousands of links pointing to your website it creates a massive backlink profile then you have to start managing anchor text ratios um and then you have to start managing link quality um and all sorts guys um so when you do it this way guys you can be 100 percent sure and you can be safe for months, weeks, and years to come, guys, that you know what, everything is totally relevant from your links that are pointing to your site. So anyway, I'll see you in the next videos, guys, and in the next video tutorials that will show you exactly how to use the system.